Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joanna, also known as Keto in Canada. Yesterday morning, I shared a Instagram Live video on my channel, and now it's expired, and I'm getting people asking me to post it somewhere so that they can watch it. This was one of the only live videos that I actually saved, and I thought perhaps maybe I would post it again. I did get a lot of extremely positive feedback from this video. If you have young children, you might not want to have them in the room. I do drop a lot of F-bombs in this video. It's just the way it is. One thing to clarify, I got a lot of messages that, from people that were like, girl, don't worry about the haters, blah, blah, blah. But that's not really what I'm doing here um, or why I posted it. It wasn't because of what people were saying or that it wasn't upsetting me. It just sort of sparked a fire about why I'm so passionate about the way that I follow keto and that I really don't care what those people think about my methods of doing it. So check out the video and I'd love to hear your comments in the description down below. Only if they're positive though. Thank you. Hi guys. Welcome to my live video here on my channel. I'm actually going to save this video because I really quickly just want to say something that takes a little bit longer than 15 second clips on an Instagram live. So here I am on my live. I'm just getting ready to head to work. But I wanted to chat about something. Um, I get a lot of comments, not too frequently, but sometimes from people, and I got one yesterday. You guys can go check my last post if you really want to see it. And, um, you know, there was a person that had an issue with the fact that I was drinking Diet Coke, I guess. <laughs> and, um, you know, because drinking, having artificial sweeteners and all that stuff isn't, isn't keto. And I get this a lot. Heck, I've been getting this for 18 months. And I think it's like people think that... I think there might be an opinion out there about me, keto in Canada, that I, I think I'm keto, but I'm not really keto. And they think I'm just like oblivious to the fact that there's people out there that think that about me. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know that there's plenty of keto police out there who have decided that keto in Canada is not keto. She's just low carb, so fuck her, right? But I think it's more it comes from like, jealousy issues, but that's okay. I'm not, it's fine. It's fine. What I wanted to talk about though, is that yes, there are different ways that you can do keto. And I don't talk a lot about the other ways that you can do keto, whether you're doing keto for weight loss or keto to heal your body. Um, when I first started keto, I was in a really, really low place. I was at a rock bottom place where I felt really bad about myself. I had, um, I was buying two different sizes of clothing because I kept planning on losing more weight. I was um, uncomfortable in my own skin. My back was hurting constantly. I was exhausted all the time. Um, my husband was also in the same place. So the both of us, especially with our children, we weren't in a good place either. Um, we were like switching off naps because we were both so exhausted. We were snapping at our kids. We were um, eating what I considered to be the wrong foods. <sighs> and, I, and I didn't feel good. I didn't feel attractive. I didn't feel like a, you know, a healthy, happy, how old was I? 32, something like that. Your old woman who, you know, I didn't feel attractive. I didn't feel confident. I had two little kids to take care of all day, every day, and I was exhausted. And I found keto. And the way that I was actually taught keto was the way that I follow it now. That you don't have to restrict ingredients. That you need to keep your net carbs low. And so that's what I did. And in that process, I really found myself. I lost over 60 pounds. I feel more confident than I've ever felt in my entire life. And... And I did all of that while not restrict, restricting ingredients, while not meal planning all my food, while, not, uh, while eating fast food and drinking Diet Coke. And I found a way to find balance to get myself from a really negative, horrible, depressed place in my life to where I am now. And if I had first come across keto and was told, 
no, you can't eat those salad dressings at McDonald's because there's the wrong type of oil in them. Well, to hell if I would ever have made it to point B. And that's what I really want to say is that, yeah, there's a lot of different ways that you can follow keto. You can follow keto um, in a very restrictive way where you can't have certain vegetables or you can't have this and you're trying to heal your body from the inside out. Or you can follow keto in a way that you're limiting your net carbs, you're tracking your proteins, and you're getting enough fat into your system to feel, to feel good and healthy. And you can do it just for weight loss the way that I did it. And perhaps some of those people will start following keto the way that I follow keto in a manageable, kind way where they know that Mama. I just have to concentrate on... Mama? I, okay. Yes, my you sweet love. Wake me up. I didn't wake you up? You wake me up. Oh, from talking? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'll get you breakfast in a second. Actually, can you get dressed because I'm going to take you for breakfast on your way to daycare, okay? How's that sound good? No, we're going to the... The... The barbecue. Okay, we'll go to the barbecue. Can you go get dressed? Okay. What I was saying is maybe some of those people who start off eating keto the way that I do in a kind way that is allows them to find balance and to um, get a really good start, maybe some of those people at some point will say, um, I, I want to start restricting ingredients. I want to cut back on dairy. I want to start limiting um, certain foods because I've heard that There's actually different ways that you can follow keto, and there is a more restrictive way that might help me with some gut problems that I've had, or might help me with other issues that I've been having. And that is a wonderful thing, and I embrace that, and I encourage people to all find their own way of doing keto, but I will sure as hell not back down from telling people about the way that I started and the way that I lived that lifestyle, because it has changed my life. I feel fucking fantastic and I sure as hell am not going to try and change the way that I do it to come back at other people and say, listen, you're not doing it right. I mean, it's great that you've lost weight and all, but you're not really keto because you're not losing, because you're eating this food or that food or whatever. And you know what? I'm passionate about helping other people. That's why I'm here. That's why I have this platform. This is my weight loss channel, and I will share my weight loss journey from my viewpoint and how I want to do it. If I care about how anyone else in this world follows keto, I don't give a shit how you follow keto, how you follow keto, how you follow keto, how you follow keto. And I'm sure as hell not going to tell anyone that they're not keto Because of something they choose to do, if they eat a fucking carrot, I don't care if they eat a goddamn carrot. If if their net carbs are low enough that they're in a state of ketosis, then hell yes, go go for it. And you know what? I don't even care if someone has a weekly cheat meal on keto. They're still keto. They're still keto because what you do 95% of the time is what you are. And I don't even have a freaking cheat meal. And I see people out there fucking nitpicking on ingredients harping on companies like Smart Sweets and whatever who have cheat meals all the time. So it's like, oh, it's not okay for you to eat a, a freaking bag of Smart Sweets because it's going to bump your insulin. But, you know, it's okay if I if I go out and eat all fucking day on Sunday, whatever the hell I want. But I'll be keto tomorrow. But don't you eat those Smart Sweets. You know what? Forget it. I'm like, I just think that There's way too many people out there who have their own little agendas and they want to make up rules that work for them on one day and the other day and they want to go nitpick on other people about the food that they're eating. You know what? Everyone just needs to worry about themselves. There's no right way to do keto. There's no wrong way to do keto. And if people think that I'm unaware of the fact that I don't even know why people follow me if they're not happy with the the way that I'm doing things or if they don't agree with me. And this really is not a direct response to that one individual yesterday who wanted to post on my feed because 
it kind of just sparked this little thing where I was like, you know what, I really want to take a a little bit of a step here and just let people know where I stand. I'm not stupid. (laughs) I'm not like in this magical little world where I think that like, I know how to do keto better than everyone else. And, you know, I, you know, I just find that I don't understand why these people choose to follow me if they don't agree with me. And then this girl, this particular girl, wanted to say, well, I just wanted to put this all out here in case anyone else was reading your feed and, you know, I could explain to them, you know, how to really do keto, basically, is what she's saying. And it's like, you know what? You have your own little platform and it's over on your channel. So you go use your own platform for your own messaging and I'll use mine for this one. And I'm sorry that you don't have enough followers that people actually see your message, but if you're passionate about keto and a certain way that you think people should be following it, we'll start your own frigging YouTube channel and start sharing your knowledge about the perfect way to do keto. That's what I think. And I will be damned if I, you know what I want? I want moms like me who are in the same place that I was, who felt like they're at fucking rock bottom, who are too tired to meal prep their food, to find my channel and to see that you can change your life. I'm not going to cry because I'm very, very passionate about what I'm doing and how I've got here and how horrible a place I was before. That's why I do what I do every single day. That's why I shared my journey. And through the support of everybody else. Yes, my love. I want to please develop one up to your bedroom. Okay. Yeah, mom would. Yeah. Say hi. Anyways. All I really want is for other people who are in the same place that I was to see that you can do it and you can change your life for the positive, even when you have young kids that are around, even when you're busy with your soccer schedule and your hockey and you don't know where to go to eat when you're out, that is what I'm here to do. CJ, can I finish my video? I'm almost done. Thank you. Okay. And there's how we win a moral one. Yep. And the war pieces. Okay. Anyways, that's why I'm here. That's what I'm passionate about. Not about spreading what isn't keto. I do keto for weight loss. I don't do keto to heal my body. Um, And now I'm in a totally different fitness workout stage of my life. And I feel really, really happy. And that's it. That's my piece. I wanted to say it. I couldn't really write it. And I couldn't do it in a 15 second clip. So you get it in this live video. I will save this if anyone watches this. And if you are a keto police and you have a problem with the way that I live my life and follow keto, I don't give a fuck. (laughs) Okay? I'm here to help people find a manageable way to lose weight in a way that they've never, maybe never tried. And that's why I'm here. And that's what I care about. I don't care about all the other stuff and all the other people and whatever and and really what anyone else thinks about me I'm quite content and happy and quite confident in my own skin and my body now thanks to my half-assed version of keto thanks guys I hope you have a wonderful day all right so there you have it that was my Instagram live from yesterday if uh if we're on the same wavelength perfect I love it Come over onto Instagram, give me a follow, at Keto in Canada. I do lots of Instagram lives on there where you can hop on and ask me questions and we can chat and, you know, I try to share a lot of other keto information on there as well, so I'd love to have you there. If you are not a subscriber here on YouTube, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys.